Okay. If you remember last time I was having trouble remembering how to bring in images in here. Let's try this again. We'll go to empty image. There's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, one, you can just bring it in as a background image. But uh, in this one, kind of funny because you actually don't need this. We're just going to go over here and we're going to go to uh, so I, I I went into add empty image it gives you this box here and then if you go to up here and you go to object data which is these little three lines and it shows you it says image and then it says I can open and I want to go to my desktop oh shit book because I know where the image is at I just couldn't Remember how you can bring it in here? Okay, so now we have this in here. Now I think it's just on the seven view. Let's try one. Oh, yep. And three. Okay, so doing it this way, this is kind of the old way I did it. Uh, let's take the transparency and let's put it to. 0 0.75. Uh, okay, that didn't seem to do too much to it. Let's go to, well, that's because I set it to 75. Let's go 0 0.75. Yeah, it did a little bit. Let's try 5. Just hit the period key in the 5 and enter. And maybe a little bit more. Let's go. Whoopsie. Didn't want to go to zero. Let's go to point. Let's try three five. Enter. Hmm. Why am I? Did I delete it with the uh Five. I must have deleted it. Let's start this over. Let's delete it. Yeah, delete it. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go add empty image. Let's open uh, desktop again. Alt ships. B65 Ishikara. Whoa. Oh, I know why that did that. Uh, Uh, let's go cursor to center. Let's go. And I'm just at the moment just kind of eyeballing this. Uh, so what I want to do too is see this grid here. I want to scale this. Okay, so this is one. Let's go back seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 16 across here, and that's 16 meters. And to make this thing manageable, I usually model and scale so if it's something like a ship. So I don't, one of the first ships I actually modeled, I modeled it to like 160 meters. And it really gave me fits with the cameras and the angles and stuff like that. So what we're going to do, we're not going to, we're not going to scale this to 200 meters or whatever. We're going to figure out how big this thing is, and we're going to scale it one tenth scale. We're going to, go, or, or even smaller, we're going to scale it across this grid. So let's hit the S, and let's make this puppy. Just me keep moving your mouse across there. Let's go like this. And then let's move this thing. Let's move it here. Let's move it down. Well, I don't I don't think with it, its length that it would be a problem. But we will see. Okay, let's scale this some more. 
And since the dot's in the lower left-hand corner, it's going to scale from there. So I'm basically on that line. Let's bring it to let's bring it to about there. Because the beauty the beauty part about this whole thing is if you s make a model and you scale this thing and you're on this grid, because because okay, uh, in a sense we can pretend that we're building a model. We're not building a ship, we're just building a big model of it. And this model is going to be 16 meters, which actually 16 meters is nothing to sneeze at. That'd be a good size model. I don't know what scale it would be in this because I haven't really... Uh, let's see where we're at here. I'm just zooming in. Yeah. We're a little bit off of this. And we're probably going to move this anyway, so. But you can actually, what I like about having a nice big screen, because I use a 43-inch screen, is that I can, uh, we can move this over here. So when you're scaling stuff, let's see, and I think it was up here. Give or take. And like I said, we're probably, because uh, I ain't really worried as much about the corners of the picture as I am about the ship. If I put that right there, it's pretty close. Okay, now see this says, that's 13 meters, so... <laughs> Give or take, we're in like one ninth scale or something like that at the moment. If you if you if you put your if you figured out the thirteen, which is seven and a half. If you figured out the sixteen meter thing here, if you made this sixteen meters, we'd be exactly on one tenth scale. Give or take, if you if we match that up, and I'll probably. I'll probably do that. So like I said, we got 16 across here, eight from the center. So if we go back here, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our eight. Let's scale down just a hair. Okay, so. We're just, we got the paper right on the grids, which the ends of the ships are pretty close on this thing too. I mean, I could, I could drag it up a little bit. I could bring this nose even closer to that line. And actually what's interesting, I'll show you another little trick. Uh, if we do this transparency again, and don't screw it up this time, 0.35. There we go. That's what I was wanting. I want I want to see the lines through the lines here. Okay, so each one of these uh, squares is a centimeter, actually. So if we We move this, we hit that zero right on that line there. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, shouldn't be, should be 10 there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, there's 10 there, okay? So if we go from this line, Actually, we should move this over. I know why we're having problems. Because we got to start there on that edge. This is your main, main line here. So if we take that scale, give or take, right there, and then we come to this line, we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So if I left click right here, and we make this scale, 
scale it up just a little bit more. Now the problem with this is that it's going to do this business, so we got to kind of guess it. Okay. Let's move it down. Okay, we want to go, so we need to pull it over, so we went a little too big, I think. Well, we're pretty close. Maybe just scale it down a little. Scale it down. About there. Let's move it over. And push G on the X, and we can just slide it just to here, there. See there? So we know that's 13 meters, which is 42 and 0.65. So it's it's about 42. 42 and about 7 inches, give or take, and that English, which I'm not worried about English, especially when I uh, model, when I model, which I haven't hardly done, when I'm, if I model and or when I model, let's move this over, some room here, and let's push the T, get rid of the, that board, I, li I like a little room here, okay. Now that we know we're at one tenth scale, hmm, that's pretty funny. That's pretty big on that grid at one tenth scale. <laughs> it's actually almost twice as big as our grid, so I won't go back here. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go add, and then I want to go, I want to go to object, and I want to go to snap, and I'm going to go cursor to center. Okay, so one tenth scale. We'll find out. This might this might be an issue. I almost I might almost need to maybe go to one twentieth scale. But for the moment, what I want to do is we're going to grab this. We're going to grab it on the Y, and we're going to bring it. We're going to center it just by eyeball. Because this picture, what I have ran into sometimes is that sometimes pictures aren't perfectly straight. This looks pretty good, actually. This looks pretty straight. Whoever did draw this did. Looks like they were using a graphics program to where this is... Uh, actually seems to be pretty centered and level, which is good. It makes it easier. Okay, so now we want to grab it on the X again, and we're going to take a somewhat educated guess to about the center of where the ship is. And one of the ways we can do this is we can, we can actually count these squares. I can figure out how long this thing is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, almost twenty-six. So we need to go almost thirteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I need to bring it back. And I need to balance it right in between those two lines. And that looks pretty darn centered right there. OK. And that's basically the center of our ship. We might want to grab it on the X, and then just hit the arrow key just ever so slightly, no, mm. the, uh, what's kind of tripping me up is the page on the back there, got that white line I'm looking at, uh, 
and the front of the top view is just a slightly f more forward than the side view. Whoever drew this would actually have the side view a little bit. So it depends on if I want to go to the front of the ship or balance it. I think I'm going to balance it from the side because I might have to actually slice this picture in when I'm working on the ship and do, especially working on the front to start with, it's going to make it. Oh, and actually, I modified this picture, so I might have messed up the measurement on that, actually. But I think I can compensate around that. So give or take, that looks like that's pretty much the center of our ship. So I think I'm happy with the whoops. Right click, I was still moving it, slide it in move mode, so hit the A, deselect, okay. Now that's our top view. Now, sometimes it bothers people, like I should have almost made two pictures where I had a top view and a side view, but I, I'm used to working with things this way. Okay, now, now what I want to do is I want to go to the front view which is three, I push three, and if I look down, that's my front view. Okay, three, so I wanna take this picture. I wanna duplicate it, so I hit Shift D, and I wanna rotate that one 90 degrees, and it made it upside down, so I want to rotate it. Whoa, 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 what do we got going on here? Control Z. And it's not cooperating. What are we doing here? Oh, I see what it did. It rotated it that way. So, okay, what I want to do is let's rotate it 180. Let's rotate it on the X. I don't know what the heck it's this. Just delete this, delete it. Okay, delete it. Okay, let's try this again. Let's shift duplicate. Let's rotate it on the X. Nine, let's see, minus 90. They'll put it down. Let's rotate it right on the X. 180. There we go. And then let's move it. I want it back here. I actually put it quite a ways back, and I'll show you why. Now when I hit 3, you don't see. You can see the edge of it if you can see the yellow, but you don't see the front because I actually don't have a front view. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have front views. I've had a few ships in a model that actually had frame lines and it made it quite a bit easier. Okay, let's hit seven again. So you notice I put this thing quite a ways back. And there is one adv advantage. You can, you can bring a picture in as a background image and it it stays more transparent when you're trying to work around stuff. You don't have to hide stuff in that. Okay, now let's hit one. Let's come down. Okay, so this, we're looking at this picture. And we're going to be using this for reference for modeling. But we're, but we're actually looking at it. It's it, in orthoscopic, it hasn't changed. If we hit perspective, see how it looks like it's way far away? But in orthoscopic, it's just, it doesn't matter if you move it 10 miles back in the, in the thing, it, it'll show up like this. But as I'm working on the actual model here, if I angle it, then it'll be out of my way. So if I'm, if I'm working on this side of the model, which I shouldn't be anyway, because this is pretty much asymmetrical. So we're going to build this, and we're going to use a mirror modifier. So we're only going to work on half this ship.
And then we're going to mirror it. Okay, now the other thing we can do here is we can grab this thing. And same thing, we can move it way down here. And then that way, when we're looking at... Uh, Today, deselected, and we hit seven, and we're looking from above. Same deal. It'd be three miles below you, and in orth orthoscopic, it would look the same. In perspective, it gets smaller, but in orthoscopic, it, it's going to remain the same size. Okay, so I want to go back to three, so and I want to go back to one. There we go. So what's kind of interesting is uh, seven. Oh, okay. So what I did is I sent we centered we centered the top. Let's go to three. Let's go to one. One is your side view, and three is your front. So I I if you're modeling in Blender, one of the things you should do is you should aim the front of your object towards the right side on the x-axis which if you were looking at a map, that would be towards the east. And then that way when you hit three, it's actually your front. Otherwise you're gonna get stuff backwards. You'd have to hit control three and that's your back. Uh, control seven, you won't be able to tell us. Well, kinda, this is your bottom. You hit control seven. Okay. Control one. Okay, control one. See, it brings it brings you to the other side here. So, depending if you're actually working on a full model and you're starting to detail this, at this point you might have to hide this. Otherwise, you'd be seeing your picture while you're doing this. Let's hit one again. Bring this back around. Okay, now, now what I didn't do with this picture is I want to bring this down. I want to grab it in the Z. And what I usually do because the first thing I'm going to model is this hole. And normally what I do on ships, when I model them, I, I basically have two options. I usually go with the waterline. I usually set the waterline in the center here. But with this ship having a deep, a deeper draft here, I'm going to go a little bit above the waterline here. I want to go kind of more in the center of the rise and fall of the Hulk, and this is what I think. This is what I think I want to make as a, uh, this is where we're going to sit, we're going to keep our images. And for those of you who have used Maya or 3D, like Autodesk, 3DS Max and stuff, uh, Blender can be kind of, left-handed monkey wrench because you don't left click to select you right click to select and even me like you'll you you will notice during these videos that I tend to I, I tend to do this a lot I'm working on stuff and I'll click the you left click and it moves that cursor and sometimes that's not an issue in fact sometimes I even use it to mark stuff but the problem with it is, is you'll you'll see me do this a lot too. Uh, another thing I like to do too is I like to get rid. If I'm not making an animation, I just like to close that timeline. I don't like to, it. Just gives me more space in here. But you'll see me do this a lot. You'll see me even in uh, edit or in uh, object mode. You'll see me go into the snap option and cursor center. And that brings that back. And like I said, depending on what you're doing, there's there's times where you're scaling stuff in, scaling from the uh, mass of the object. It's not a problem. But there's other time it scales from this cursor. So if you're scaling something out here and it's scaling from this cursor, it isn't scaling it evenly. It's skewing it really bad. And I think we're going to leave off there, and we'll start modeling in the next video. We'll see you there.